Welcome back. Here at the yard. Got my brother on the phone over there. Got the flat top right here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, back the truck. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you guys seen the the tide already. So let's go ahead and uh, get this process started. All right. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and knock down the bumper. It's pretty simple, just four bolts. So that's the first thing we gotta do, knock down the bumper. Cause we gotta take the, the leaf springs off. Cause we gotta take one of them off. Right now it has two leaf springs. We gotta knock out one. And it's bolted up to the front. So that's why we gotta get the bumper off anyways. First things first, knock it down the bumper. Then we get the leaf spring off. Cause we gotta take one off. And that's pretty much that. After that, put the bracket on top of the, bracket sits on top of the leaf spring. You both go back on top of the bracket, bolts to the frame, and we add this two shot two shocks here. We're gonna have to relocate that further back here. So also the ground, we gotta re re relocate that to the back too. Sorry, can't talk this morning. And that's pretty much the gist of it. As you can see, I don't really have that much clearance from the oil pan to the axle, guys. So. I got maybe about four inches of drop, maybe five if I'm lucky. But I want to say about four inches. So that's as low as we're gonna be able to go. But I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean, four inches is four inches, am I right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get the process started. All right, quick update. Took the bumper off as you guys saw. Took the brackets off. Uh, Drag this up here from the frame. Get the weight off the, the leaf springs. If you can see, you can see a little gap in between the leaf springs now. That's what you want. Get all the tension off the leaf spring. My bird just turned on the compressor. We gotta get the U-bolts off. And then once we get that off, we get to remove this bottom spring here. This one we gotta take off. And that's pretty much it. The truck's gonna be on its own weight after that. And we'll see how low it's gonna go. So I just wanted to show you guys what was going on there. That's where we're at so far. So I'll update you guys once we get a little bit further. All right, update on the truck. We removed the springs. And uh, unfortunately, like I said earlier, the little oil drain plug that's on the front of the axle does hit. I mean, it looks like it's hitting on the axle but it's not there's actually a gap there we left a little gap we're gonna put stops unfortunately so that kind of sucks but either way the truck i mean it doesn't look low without the bumper but it did lower here on the side as you can kind of see can't remember what it looks like no more from before i know that's how i was but i'm guessing it is but it no, is lower it's way lower bro it's not when i looked at it yeah it but it is sitting lower guys uh, the other side it looks a little bit higher because of the fact that the fender is messed up You guys know that from when I first showed you guys the truck the fender is bent like that So the gap looks a lot higher here If anything we'll measure from the grill to the ground make sure it's about about right But other than that that's as far as we got and we just took the the spring out but that's how it is at the moment and that's it he's gonna while well, he works on the the brackets i'm gonna jump inside add the switch i need to go up and down got the little what's it called uh i lost my train of thought the dremel. dremel yeah i got a little dremel here a little i can cut the little hole out for the switch and we should be good to go so while i do that inside my brother's gonna do the brackets and then start mocking up the bags and the brackets and go from there. All right, well, I'm about to take apart the dash. Uh, this is where I'm gonna add this, the second gauge, or the second gauge, sorry, the switch. Um, there's a little chrome cap I have already. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna center it right there. Drill out the hole there with the Dremel. I've got this Rockwood switch here I'm gonna be using a cruise control one that way it clicks up and down but I'm gonna put the 
don't want the arrows to go up and down because obviously it needs to go up and down so i have that the switch my brother has it somewhere so that's going to be mounting the switch to go up and down i got a new radio i'm gonna put on because that one is ass ugly and then the gauge we just ordered it uh we were trying to find it from peterbilt but the, the air suspension gauge is back ordered four to six months and we looked at a bunch of different places and they're back ordered the same thing uh, and so that really sucks and we're looking online and we found a brake apply one so we just bought one of those and we're going to use it for the suspension as long as it can mark air pressure that's all that really matters it doesn't matter what it is as long as it marks air pressure so i'm just going to use this one pretty simple you guys seen what we did to my brothers so nothing too crazy in the mean just in the meantime so we get the other gauge the other gauge is exactly the same because it's a brake apply brake apply so once that gets in i'll drill the hole here at the gauge i'll connect this line back like we're supposed to and then the line that i'm running for the bags i just connect back over here and we should be good i don't know if you guys understood that but either way that's that so i guess let's get to it all right check it out got it on took a little bit longer than i wanted to but either way there it is that's if i can all right there it is cut the hole out took a little bit to get it precise but either way there it is boom i just don't want to pop it in yet but either way there it is up down up down and then all i do is pop that switch off put this one on and that's pretty much what it's gonna look like right there cool all right so that's what's going on with the switch so let's jump outside let me show you what my brother's been doing while i've been doing that with the switch like i said it took me a little bit longer than i wanted to but it's all good as you can see he got a mess out here all right well, anyways this is the bracket all right yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right just piece of metal this area yeah all right this is the bracket you boys are gonna sit here like i said on the last video I got to grind so that you both sit here flush. Kind of like notch it out, flat, right? Yeah, notch it out. So that you both can sit flush there. And then right, this goes there. here. There's like so. Hole right there. You got to drill it yeah. out. Pretty much they should, they should know so this. This is on the last, last video. And then, and then that's going to go there for the dual shocks. You just got to weld it. It just has it in place. Yep. Uh, We're going to use a stop. We need a stop. You're going to clean right it up there. Though, but Perfect. We need a stop because My the oil, oil panel hit until we get the uh, car hauler axle. The car hauler axle. So, so right now we got to use a stop. stop. And let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much that's it. it. Yep. That's that's so. it. Just pretty much grinding and welding now. Yeah. He's going to knock out both sides. Or both side brackets. Yeah, both brackets. And then that way we just throw, throw everything on. on. Yeah. And that's that. So that's how that looks at the moment. The next time they see us, they should, the bracket should be on with the uh, So that's about it. That's as low as this is going to go because of the... Because of the little cap thing I was showing you guys. I don't know if you guys can see right, right there. It's pretty damn close. Take that out. <laughs> don't mind the dirtiness, the grindiness, but there it is. Well, that's that so i guess i guess let's get back to it Is that my no. all right guys well we got a mess going on check that out all right well let me start over here with the bag my brother got this side all finished up uh, brackets done the bag is bolted down already with the u-bolts uh yeah as you, oh yeah the stop <laughs> you guys can see right here that's the stop is as was holding the truck up right now so we know it works <laughs> sorry the stop is holding the truck up right now so we know it works uh so this side is done we just got to drill out the holes for the top but we need the bag to go up so as of right now this side is done 
my brother's working on the, on the what is it the passenger side driver's driver side. side the driver's side bracket now we should be good to go throw on the other side bolt it down and that should be it that part's done as of me what i'm doing is i got the solenoid uh as you guys remember on the i don't know if you remember from the last video but pretty much same thing block this one off this top one put a block on it this is your exhaust when you're out all the air dumps out through here this one here is your your split this is uh the one that goes to the y that goes to your bags this one on the bottom is your air from your air tank to here and then the little one on the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it, that tiny one here that's when that goes to your gauge i got the i'm running the airline in now i lost my cap don't worry about that but uh run the airline in now the two powers right here um this one's to go up i believe and this one's to go down i'm currently attaching the wire to it to run it inside both sides run it in then i'm gonna wire, put wire loom all on this all together clean it up that's why i made the hole big enough for the wire loom and everything and pretty much it the ground wires i'm gonna bolt it to the bolt holding this bracket up that's my ground going on the inside this is the airline for the gauge and then the wire i'm gonna run the two power wires out go to the switch up and down and that's pretty much it guys and in here like we saw it on the last one uh there's plenty of room back there there's nothing in the way but if i were you i would double check just to make sure drill your holes out pretty much it don't know if that makes sense to anybody but it makes sense to me just want to give you guys an update on what's going on we got a mess but either way, it's going, guys. It's going. Almost, almost. All right, everybody. What's up? Second day. We finished everything last night. Except we didn't throw the bumper on. First thing we did, we got here and snugged up the U-bolts to make sure they're tight. And that's pretty much it. Truck goes up and down. Everything works. About to throw the bumper on. That's all that's left. So other than that, I mean, we pretty much finished everything yesterday in one day. So pretty cool we accomplished all that in one day not too bad didn't record anymore because it got dark on us what we were trying to finish but either way that's that i'll show you guys once i have the bumper on i'll show you how the setup is and we'll go from there All right, guys. Well, finally finished the, the bag install on the flat top. It looks awesome, if I do say so myself. But either way, so I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, and I kind of explain what we got going on and how everything, how everything works, and all that good stuff. Y'all see what's up? Check it out. And there it is, guys. There it is on bags. It's uh three three inches or something like that from the ground. Yeah, something like that. So pretty cool. Either way, let me go ahead and open the hood and show you guys what it looks like. As you guys saw, my brothers all just took off to work. And I get to go home finally. Alright, check it out. We got the... 
Got the bag, dual shocks. Got the got the actual line running here. Runs behind the frame. Up through here and into the cylinder. That's this side. That's pretty much what it looks like. Had to shave the, the steering arm right there. That was not too close to the bag. And then we got this side. Same thing. Bag. Dual shocks. The airline. We got it right. As you can see, it runs up here with all these hoses here. Runs up to the solenoid. Got up here. Got the one of the lines running from the air tank straight to the valve. This other one there is my exhaust where it dumps the air out when I air out. And that's pretty much it. Sorry, the sun's kind of in the way. So that's that. That's the bag setup. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Let me show you the inside. I don't know if I showed you the guys the inside yet. And then the switch that I told you guys I put in up and down. So that's pretty much it. Steering wheel sideways because it's aired out. So with that being said, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys go up and down. All right, well, that was that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. It was a little process, but nothing too crazy. We were able to manage. The gap on this one is, like I said earlier, is bigger because of the way the fender is bent. So you got to get the new ones painted and throw them on. If you look at this side, the gap's a little bit smaller. Like Nothing crazy, but you can tell. Well, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can tell more in person. But either way, that's how that is, guys. Came out awesome. Super happy. Could go lower, but uh, my old panel hit. So I had to put stops. But I do want to get a car hauler axle in the front eventually. That way I can actually lay the bumper completely on the ground. But that's a project for another day. Sometime in the future, as of right now, at least I'm on bags. Happy with that. All right, guys. Well, calling it a day. Calling it a day and going home. Tired. Ready to go shower and relax. Grab something to eat. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about the truck, about the bag setup. But either way, guys. I'm gonna head out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next video.